In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open an image for your learners to download, save, or print. So as I indicated, this tutorial is going to be about opening up an image in a new tab within your e-learning course so that your learners can right click and download the image or they could print the image or they could simply just save it to their device or computer. I am going to do things a little bit differently in this tutorial. I'm going to experiment with the voices that are available in WellSet Labs. So instead of me narrating this tutorial, I'm going to supply uh, the voices from WellSet Labs so you can see what a tutorial created with those would sound like. To add a button where learners can open an image in a new tab or window for the purpose of downloading or printing, click on the shapes icon and select a rectangle. Draw out the rectangle on your canvas. Set the properties you desire for this button. Double click the shape to add some text. Select use as button to turn your shape into a button. Click the Actions tab and set the On Success action to open URL or file. Click on the folder icon and open the image you wish to use for this interaction. Make sure you click on the drop-down arrow next to the URL and select New. Uncheck Continue Playing the Project in order to pause your learning project while the learner focuses on the image in the new browser window. Optionally, you can select to turn your cursor into a hand and disable click sound if you prefer. Let's test by previewing this project. Click on Preview and select HTML5 in browser. Clicking on our shape used as a button opens a new tab that contains our image. Learners can either save, download, or print this image if they so choose. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.